Welcome to the third part of Super Pre-Starter Diet. I'm really excited to continue this hot topic. So, we talked about a starter diet and how can you convert it to a Super Pre-Starter Diet. In this video, I'm going to talk about specifically about feed additives that can that you can use in super pre-starter diets the first additive is enzyme you can use multi enzymes in your diet it will help the digestive system to digest and absorb the nutrients more efficiently it is important to use pre-fermented and or pre-digested feed ingredients in a super pre-starter diet. In addition to that, you need to use enzymes as well. For example, lipase. I would say the most important enzyme you need to use in a pre-starter and starter diet since the digestive system of young chickens do not have or let's say is not able to produce sufficient lipase enzyme and in addition to that they really cannot form micelles, fat micelles, to absorb the fatty acids. That's why we need to use emulsifiers as well. I'll talk about that in the next slides. Next enzyme, xylanase, beta-glucanase. These are some enzymes to, you know, get rid of some anti-nutritional factors if we have any in a super pre-starter diet which i hope we don't mononase protease to increase the digestibility of protein phytase to liberate the trapped phosphorus and to increase its availability. Cellulase, amylase, to increase, you know, cellulase, uh, cellulose and starch digestion. And also, as I mentioned, we really need to pay specific attention to increase the fat digestion and metabolization in the young chicks. In addition to that, we really need to pay close attention to using synthetic emulsifiers in a super pre-starter diet to increase the digestion and absorption and metabolization of fat. So, from synthetic emulsifiers, we can mention soy lecithin, milk-derived casein, lysophosphatidylcholine or lysolecithin, bile salt, glyceryl polyethylene, glycol resinoleate, and also sodium steroyl 2 lactylate these are some feed additives some emulsifiers that are to use to be used in a super pre-starter diet we need to use carnitine and pay close attention to lysine level in the diet why? As you can see here, carnitine is a carrier 
that can carry fatty acids into mitochondria and inside the mitochondria these fatty acids are going to be metabolized through beta oxidation pathway so we need to have that carrier on the mitochondria membrane to get fatty acid and transfer it inside the mitochondria to be burned to be metabolized that's why whenever you are using fat in the diet regardless of starter diet you know regardless of the phase of the feeding even in grower even in the finisher diet if you are using fat we need to make sure that we have enough carnitine to metabolize that fat otherwise this fat will be a problem for your bird so why do we need to care about lysine here because lysine is a precursor of carnitine it means that in the body lysine is needed to synthesize the carnitine that's why if you are using fat in your diet you need to increase lysine level a little bit so do not forget to use carnitine and increase lysine in the super pre-starter diet as i said again and again these are the secrets nutritional secrets and i hope you can get benefit out of it so the other strategies that we use in feed additives in super pre-starter diets is to use probiotics and prebiotics i talked about that in the starter diet i think it was in my previous video in part two we need to use vitamin c and vitamin e as you know they are good antioxidants we need to have a low dietary ph that's why i recommend using organic acids for example citric acids in the super pre-starter diets and also we need to use phytogenic compounds instead of using you know um, antibiotics in super pre-starter diet we really need to pay attention to using phytogenic compounds which have other benefits in addition to being a good antibiotic and also we need to use as i said prebiotics and probiotics in the diet you might be wondering poultry do not need vitamin c because they can synthesize vitamin c in their body of course they can but during stress their vitamin c requirements is high and that's why we need to supplement vitamin c through the diet for example during the heat stress and of course during a challenging time like early life i hope you enjoyed this episode as well and as always let me know if you have any questions down there in the comments and i'll see you in the next 
episode. Take care.